What's the matter with you these days, she demands. You're as nervous as a foundling. I blink the sudden tears from my eyes. And you're always crying, she observes. Has Ned left you? Yes, I say, and the word falls from my mouth like a stone as I realise its truth. He said that he would write, and he hasn't written. He said that he would go for weeks, and he's been gone for months. He doesn't reply to my letters, and I don't even know where he is. So really, I have to say that he has left me. He left me ages ago, and I don't know what to do without him. Henry Herbert, she suggests. He's furious with me for being in love with Ned. He knows all about that. She purses her pretty mouth. Can't you be happy without either of them? We were promised to marry, I say. Even now, I can't even tell the truth to my sister. I feel compromised. Mary laughs up at me. For God's sake, our own sister died on the block for God's word. That's what being compromised means. She died because she had given her word to God and would not retract it. Are you going to let your life be ruined for one little promise, a love promise to a man? Just forget your promise, break it. This is nothing like Jane, I say. Of course. We should try very hard to be nothing like Jane. We should live for joy and seek pleasure. The one thing that Jane's death should teach you is that life is precious and every day is a gift that we should treasure. Turn your coat, turn your collar, retract your promise. That's not what she wanted to teach us, I say. I'm thinking of learn you to die. I don't think she was a very good teacher or a very good example, Mary says boldly. I'm as shocked as if Joe the pug suddenly stood on her hind legs. I had no idea that my little sister had thought of this at all. I had always thought that she was too young to understand what happened to Jane and to my shame. I thought that her little stature meant that she did not hear all the discussions and debate, the rage so far above her pretty hood. Her dark eyes spark with irritation, and then she smiles. I shall find my own philosophy and live my own life, she tells me, and I shall fear nothing. Mm -hmm.